one of my main convictions has been avoiding mainstream media. I've been against television most prominently. This has been so important to me, so I want to focus on it. I believe in practicing what I preach, so I avoid mainstream media. But again, the question is, what is mainstream media? What should I be avoiding? This has been a very cluttered belief of mine, and I'm refining it now. I first started out going against television, and then I was afraid of being a hypocrite, whether I realized it consciously or not. So I avoided everything that seemed like television, every form of video. Now, obviously, I'm making a video now, so I came to the conclusion that internet videos are okay. Now, why is that the case? Because the internet permits freedom of speech, television does not. I first came to this conclusion many years ago when I read an excellent book on pirate radio, pirate radio stations to the underground broadcasting by Andrew Yatter, which showed me that the FCC was a bad organization because it took away freedom of speech. It focused on pirate radio stations who operate without license because they believe it's acceptable to do that. I even use a ham radio without a license a number of years ago to protest this. I don't want to just have this conviction and not follow it. So I decided to avoid television, radio, and then later came along newspapers because that's part of the mainstream media, and even some mainstream media magazines. It's too much. It's too much to avoid all that, to avoid the internet videos in addition. I avoid the internet videos because I fear hypocrisy, but it wasn't part of what was necessary. So my definition of media that needs to be avoided is media controlled by the government, the Federal Communications Commission, and this naturally leads to corporate collusion. One of the arguments in that book on pirate radio was the government with its licensing scheme only allows corporations to exist because of the big licensing scheme. Now I know there's micro-broadcasting which has expanded it to some extent. But it, even if it expands it to a large extent, it's still the government controlling media. And it's a violation of freedom of speech. The FCC violates the freedom of speech. Now, some people say we need to have control, blah, 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 blah. But the Internet is not controlled, and it somehow functions very appropriately. 